Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be like a little mini speed review video. I have some brand new products from brands that are new to me. I picked up some of their best selling products. I have a list beauty bronzer. I have some makeup by Mario products, the tower 28 tinted SPF. Scarlett Johansson's new skincare line. I picked up their cl her cleanser and also her moisturizer. So fun new products that I have my eye on. I hope you guys are excited about these products as much as I am. I'll let you know which ones I think are worth it and which ones uh, I think you can save your money on. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So with this first product, how cute is this? This is by Kaja Beauty. This is the Play Bento Sculpting Trio. I have the shade Butter, uh, let's see what this is, Butter Up. So this is the lightest of the three trios. It comes with a blush, a highlight, and a cream bronzer. And I just thought these colors were perfect for what I usually go for. I usually go for a more champagne pinky highlight and then also a peachy nude blush. And let me show you this blush. When I saw this blush color, I'm like, yes, I have to have this. So pretty, just that perfect everyday shade. And then the cream bronzer I thought looked really pretty, just very nice and neutral. And I have been loving this. I use this all the time. It's in my makeup bag. I cannot put it down. There's a mirror in here making it perfect for travel and I just love the packaging. I love these little like three in one palettes because I use all three of these products all the time. But a face palette just takes up more room in a makeup bag. So I just thought this was so convenient. The powder blush is a gorgeous shade shade and also with the blendability of it is really nice and then also this highlight is really really nice very glowy but still subtle but you can amp it up if you want now the cream bronzer I don't reach for it too often I do wish this was a powder bronzer like you're giving me two powder products I kind of would rather have a powder bronzer but it is a really blendable bronzer which I really appreciate and even I mean, I'm wearing powder products today and let me just show you I can kind of tap it on with my finger and it blends in really easily so it is a very forgiving bronzer it's really easy to work with and it just adds a nice subtle tint so yeah I'm really excited about this I want to try their eyeshadow trios but I think this is well worth the money 20 bucks you're getting good quality product and you're getting a mirror and the packaging is just perfect so yeah this is a winner in my book all right next up makeup by Mario I know everybody's talking about his brand every time I see the products in store a lot of them are out of stock but he was having a sale on his website so I picked up these two products I was especially excited about this lip product this is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. How good does that sound? And it really is just that. Like it's a product that is thin and lightweight, but it really packs in the punch. It's just so moisturizing on the lips, really thin and so shiny. That is what is has impressed me most about this product. It is so pretty on the lips. It's been living in my makeup bag and I cannot get enough. How gorgeous is that shine? It's so pretty, so moisturizing, and I just love it. I love the color. I do have another lipstick underneath this, so it's not the exact. I feel like it's coming up a little bit more peachy on my lips than how it appears, but did I even tell you guys the shade I have? I have the shade Bare Glow. It's more on the nudie blush side. So pretty. That shine is just gorgeous and it wears so well. So moisturizing. All right, and his Soft Pop Powder Blush. This is a really pretty color, but I do feel like I, I don't know, I feel like the Kaja blush goes on a little bit more seamless. It's really buttery, but maybe it's because of how bright this shade is. I felt like, um, I don't know, it was a little bit too pink pigmented for my skin tone. I'll still reach for this and I do like the color, but I just have to be careful when I apply it. It does have a subtle glow to it. It has a very subtle shimmer in there, but it's not as intense as say like a Milani blush. I feel like those Milani baked blushes give almost a highlight effect. This looks more matte on the cheeks. I'll put it over the Kaja blush, but you can see it does give a nice little pop. My brightness on my camera is pretty high, so it's actually coming off less pigmented than it actually is looking in person. Now, I do really appreciate the packaging. The mirror is great in here. Like, it feels like you're getting a quality product. It has a magnetic closure, really nice packaging, but I just don't feel like, I don't know, the color's a little bit too intense for me for an everyday blush shade, but I appreciate that you're getting that pigmentation. But I almost, I don't know, I feel like I reach for my drugstore blushes more than I do with this one. So I like it, but I just haven't been getting a ton of use out of it. All right, next up. My new favorite bronzer, hands down. I cannot put this List Beauty bronzer down. This is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. It has almost like a little bit 
of not a shimmer but almost like a gleam to it like it has a little bit of a shine which i like in a bronzer i don't want a flat bronzer i do like a tiny bit of a glow let me show you guys what this looks like i'm gonna go in with this luxie brush this is the luxie 640 I love this for like bronzing products and also like my hourglass ambient lighting powders. It just gives that like diffuse look on the skin. This is so nice. It goes on really seamless. And I like the color, not too dark for my skin tone. Just a little bit of a bronze, not too orangey at all. It's very nice and neutral. I love it. I love the huge pan you're getting, a big mirror, and the price is unbeatable, especially for Sephora. It's $18. These NYX bronzers and Milani bronzers are in the teens now. Like, it's crazy how much drugstore uh, makeup is costing. So I appreciate that List Beauty was able to keep these prices down. But really pretty and I definitely want to try more products from List Beauty. I did try a sample of their serum foundation which is gorgeous. It's so hydrating. If you have dry skin I think you will really love that foundation. It just it becomes one with your skin. It's that good. I still have to pick up the full size of that. I'm definitely going to do that because I'm missing not having that foundation in my life. I was excited. I got probably about three uses out of that trial size and when it was done I was really sad. It's just really flattering and I appreciate that it's not patchy, really silky and almost like creamy too, but it's still this lightweight buttery powder. It's just really gorgeous. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. All right, next up, the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. Everybody's been talking about this and I don't know why it took me so long to pick up. I think, you know what, I've been using a my Ick Cosmetic CC Cream a lot, and that has SPF in it. Um, also, the Milk Makeup one is great, but this one, yeah, I just was very intrigued. I think my shade was out of stock for a while, too. I have the shade 20 Mahalan. It's a great shade match for me. So this is an SPF of 30 Broad Spectrum Tinted Sunscreen. They say it's tinted, but it does say in the details that it does give light to medium coverage. And I would say that it's a solid medium coverage foundation. I'm wearing it today. Now, I do have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer to conceal my dark spots in my under eyes. So I'm pairing this with a higher coverage concealer, so I am getting more of a high coverage look today but you can see how it's pretty glowy on the skin just a little bit of a do to it I do have a powder on which I'll talk about in a second so that brought down the shine a little bit but it's so light on the skin it wears really nice throughout the day it never stings my eyes either which are we a chemical sunscreen okay so we're a mineral, mineral sun which is even more impressive because usually it's the chemical sunscreens that give you that lightweight feel but this feels so water light on the skin it never looks streaky I find that a lot of tinted um, products go on a little streaky and I have to blend them out with a sponge but this I can apply with my fingers really effortlessly it's one of those products you can just throw it on when you're running out the door and it's so comfortable it doesn't look patchy it never looks makeup-y just very very skin-like it's gorgeous I'm so excited about this I've been flying through this it's so good so yeah um really great it's great for sense of skin cruelty free it's fragrance free really just nice comfy ingredients again it doesn't sting my eyes or anything it's very wearable I'm gonna wear this a ton throughout the summer very excited about this I wanted to get out my milk makeup just so you guys could see because I wanted to compare the amount you're getting let's see you're getting 0.5 fluid ounces in here and you're getting a whole fluid ounce in the tower 28 so you're getting a lot more for your money with the tower 28 and then just to compare it to the milk makeup so you're only getting 0.5 fluid ounces in here and with the tower 28 you're getting one whole fluid ounce and it's a lot cheaper at that so a lot more product for your money with the tower 28 and in comparing the quality of the product honestly they look exactly the same you get the same amount of dew same amount of coverage but i do get some stinging with the milk makeup because it does have it is yeah it's a combo chemical and zinc oxide so I don't know if you're deciding between the two maybe go for the tower 28 because you're gonna save a ton of money and especially if you're sensitive this is a lot better for sensitive skin let me know if there's anything else from tower 28 that you guys are interested in that you'd like to see me try out their lip glosses sound really nice and their cream blushes also sound really nice I know they get great reviews as well but this I will definitely repurchase I am so excited about the sunny days broad spectrum SPF by tower 28 and next up the Patrick star one size ultimate setting powder so I, I don't know why Patrick star products they've never really pulled me in I know he doesn't really he doesn't have a huge line yet I know he's adding more products I just saw that a foundation bomb just came out but I, I thought I'd 
picked this up. He, is, I feel like he's known for that like glam look and the whole baking situation. So I figured like he's gotta have a really good setting powder. But this was an extra with my Sephora order. So I figured I'd give a little quick review for you, for you guys. But this is a very silky powder and it is translucent, hallelujah. I feel like all these powders claim to be translucent and they're just not, they just give an extreme white cast. I'm wearing it today and it just, it becomes a one with, I wore it with the Tower 28. And even though this is more of like a dewy product, it never clung to it or got patchy. It just kind of dusts over your foundation really easily, which I like. Um, the Hourglass Setting Powder, this has a very nice finish to it, but it does have a white cast. This does not have a white cast to it whatsoever. So I do like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders for un an under eye setting powder over this. I do feel like this looks a little cakey underneath my eyes. Here's a closer look so you can see what I mean. But my concealer, you see how it's creasing underneath my eyes and it just looks a little cakey and heavy. So I do prefer more of a dewier powder underneath the eye. I do feel like it does look a little cakey for my creepy under eyes. So yeah, not really a fan for underneath the eyes, but as a setting powder, I do feel like it look, makes the skin look really nice. You can't just can't go overboard with it because I do feel like that's when it starts to cake up a bit. So it's nice, but maybe avoid the under eye air. Next up, let's talk about Scarlett Johansson's new skincare line called The Outset. I was pretty surprised to see that she released a new line of skincare. I mean, she does, granted, have gorgeous skin. I feel like she has that old Hollywood, like she always has that soft matte look. Her skin just always looks flawless. Um, so maybe that's why she's known for having good skin. But this line pulled me in because first of all, the packaging looked really nice. And I saw that some decent reviews were coming in. So I was excited to try it. I picked up the cleanser, the gentle micellar cleanser. This is an antioxidant cleanser. And then the nourishing squalene daily moisturizer. I'm a big fan of squalene and skincare. My dry skin loves it. So I wanted to give this a go. So let's first talk about the cleanser. First off, the packaging I think is gorgeous. It comes, I thought this was glass, but it is a plastic package, but it just looks so pretty on your vanity. So when I'm paying $32 for a cleanser, I want some decent packaging. My skincare by Hiram, why did I always say skincare by Hiram? The Selfless by Hiram line. <laughs> His packaging, $20 for that cleanser. I do love that cleanser, but the top already fell off and I have to store it upside down. Pretty bummed about that. But um, this packaging goes a long way. It has a pump and this is a gorgeous cleanser, you guys. It has a great pump to it that dispenses the perfect amount of product in one pump. And it has almost this like bouncy, jelly-like quality to it that it feels like a jelly on the skin, but somehow it has like this, I hate to say oily, because I feel like this is a cleanser that would be good for oily skin as well because it leaves this like silky feel on the skin that is unusual for a gel cleanser. It's just a very unique feel. It does foam up slightly, but it doesn't leave the skin feeling stripped. It just gives a nice lather to the skin. It takes off all my makeup. I do have to use a little something extra for eye makeup. I mean, I could do a double cleanse and it would remove everything, but honestly, I just do an extra small pump of this to get off my eye makeup and it does just fine. It's really nice, really nice ingredients. The second ingredient is glycerin, which maybe is, that's why it has that jelly-like consistency to it. The propendiol, great moisturizer there. And then it has sunflower seed oil in here, grape seed oil, rice bran extract. Rice bran is great for plumping out the skin. There's amino acid acids in here. Did I even see that there's a, that, yeah, there's a peptide in here, which is pretty cool, which I mean, oh, granted, you're just washing it off your face, but still, I appreciate that there's really nice ingredients in here. So I was very pleasantly surprised by this cleanser. I am really excited about this. Out of the two, I will say that this is my favorite. The moisturizer though is really, really nice. Now for an everyday moisturizer, I was pretty pleasantly surprised by the moisture level to this. They did have a night moisturizer, but I wanted to pick up the daily moisturizer. I just thought more people would be interested in the good old daily moisturizer. And I do feel like this is heavy enough for nighttime for me. It has a thin quality to it, but it is very, very moisturizing. It goes on really, really silky. It almost has that like a fluffy feel to it, but still, still that oily component as well. Very, very dewy on the skin. It wears nice under makeup. I do love it. Even underneath S SPF, I feel like it's hard to find a good daytime moisturizer that doesn't make my SPF kind of silky and make it slide around. This almost sets. It leaves the dewy appearance of the skin, but it's still, it just kind of melts into the skin. It absorbs quickly, but it still really plumps out the skin. Really, really moisturizing. I, I love this. It's really nice. 
really nice. Great ingredients. Let's see what else is in here. We have the squalene. Oh, capric triglyceride. So anytime that's up up there on an ingredient list, I pretty much can tell I'm going to get along with the moisturizer because that is a very nice emollient ingredient that is great for dry skin. So that's second on the ingredient list. And there's squalene up there as well. There is coconut oil, but again, it does not feel heavy at all. Sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, avocado oil. Uh, let's see what else. There is rosemary leaf extract with which can be a little sensitizing on my skin, but no sensitivity whatsoever. This has no scent to it, no fragrance at all. It's very calming on the skin, if anything. There's also a hobo seed esters in here. Also the rice, rice bran extract. So you're getting that, um, that a potential brightener in here. It's just gorgeous. It's so silky on the skin. Very excited about this. It's just qu quick absorbing, which I appreciate, but still so nourishing. Very plumping on the skin and smoothing on the skin. So I really, really love this. I feel like this would be great for dry, dehydrated, mature skin even oily skin too it's pretty lightweight but it does pack a punch with the moisture so just keep that in mind really great daily moisturizer very excited about this love the packaging this is a glass package um the cleanser is that plastic packaging it's just so pretty and I'm excited about the ingredients. It's really nice, calming on the skin, really moisturizing as well. So yeah, I would say that her line is is a winner. I mean, granted, I've only tried these two products, but I'm excited about what I see. I do, they, she has a serum. I didn't feel, like if I'm gonna use a serum, I want it to be a skin changing serum. Like I want it to be, have a glycolic acid or a lactic acid, something that's gonna smooth the skin, a retinol serum, but I feel like, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, I just looked it up, but yeah, it's a collagen serum. Collagen we know is a great plumping ingredient. It's a great soothing, a great moisturizing ingredient, but essentially it just moisturizes the skin. So really that's just gonna be a moisturizing serum, which I have a lot of those already. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I don't feel like those are worth the money. There's a great one by Boots Ingredients that is really nice if you're looking for a good plumping collagen serum. But yeah, that, that's why I skipped out on that one. I thought these sounded really nice and I am very impressed and very excited about these two products. And next up, the brand Calorie. I did mention this on in my dupes video already, but I wanted to talk about it again just to follow up on it. I haven't tried anything else from the brand. I did want to try out their tinted SPF. That sounded really nice. That's getting good reviews. But I talked about this in my Instagram stories. A lot of comments on my last video about me not removing it correctly. I was not using a warm water and a washcloth, which is how you're supposed to get off a tubing mascara. I now know, thank you for bringing this to light. Had no clue. I don't, I guess I've been living under a rock, but even still, I did test it out on my Instagram stories. Even with that method, it is an extremely hard mascara to remove. Even with, I felt like honestly the best way to remove it, the washcloth did do a pretty good job, but I still had to use my fingers to pinch off the tubules. And even with doing that, I was pulling out my, my, my um, lash hairs. So I felt like this mascara, like I'm losing lashes in the process of losing, of using this mascara. So I'm wearing it today and I do feel like it gives a nice effect, but not anything more than say one of my Essence mascara does. It's nice, it does wear extremely well. If you're looking for a mascara that holds up in humid weather, this does not budge. So there must be something with how it reacts with water because removing it is impossible. And when you're in humid weather, it doesn't, doesn't budge whatsoever. So if you're looking for a mascara that lasts and this is it for some reason I did see a lot of reviews of people saying that it flaked a lot I didn't notice that in humid weather but when I wore it to work in a dry hospital climate it did flake but every other time I wore it it held up it's like an undestructible mascara so it's interesting um but yeah I just would not repurchase it because of the lengthy removal process but it does hold up well in humid weather so it would be a good summer mascara if you guys are looking for something that holds up well. But alright guys, that does it for me today. These are brands that I have not tried before and I am very excited about a lot of these. The Scarlett Johansson line, pleasantly surprised by this line. And then the Makeup by Mario, this nude lip product is amazing. This is going to be my like go-to everyday lip product that's going to live in my makeup bag. And then the Tower 28, the tinted SPF is fabulous. I just love the dewy appearance. I love that it's comfortable on my skin throughout the day. You can even, I didn't talk about this, but this layers nicely throughout the day too. So it will fade slightly, but you can pack it on and it just builds very easily. So loving these three products, especially.
that does it for me here today. Let me know if there's any other brands that you guys are excited about, anything else that you want me to review in the upcoming months, in the upcoming weeks. I'd love to know. Thank you guys for being a part of my channel. You guys are always the sweetest and I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.